Hello, welcome to MD Newsline. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and chat with us. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Hello, my name is Dr. Omolara Grace Adeneran, and I'm an endocrinologist, and uh, here I am today. Happy to be here. Great. So tell me about your your work and, and your experience here at the conference so far. Oh, the conference has been wonderful. Uh, every bit of it is so enriching with so much knowledge and new information mm -hmm. out there for one to update one's with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful day. So have there been any sessions in particular that have stood out to you? What has been kind of the most interesting thing you've heard here? Yeah, I would say the lipodystrophy uh, lecture yesterday uh, on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I needed to know more about the lipodystrophy and how it's related to or how we can differentiate it from cushion because of the way the pattern, the, the way the patient looks like when they have lipodystrophy. And uh, it was a, it has been a challenge for me. And I was happy to see the way the lecture was dealt, uh, handled in detail and they were able to explain to us what how we can actually differentiate patient who has lipodystrophy from patient who have cushion and the management and the treatment and to know that just treating patient with lipodystrophy alone, they can, they had other medical conditions like lipid problem, hypertriglyceridemia can resolve, their diabetes with severe insulin resistance can also resolve. So it's, it's a take home point for me, big one. When it comes to um, your particular practice, what are some of the areas that you kind of um, find there to be kind of gaps in care? What, what are your, what's your typical experience with your patients? And then how has some of the things at the conference this year maybe highlighted uh, some of that or has, has helped you kind of um, get a different perspective on that? Uh, you mean when it comes to patients uh, themselves or with the whole general practice? Both. Either one is fine. Yeah. Um, well, the use of CGM, it's one thing that is getting more uh, exposed out there where most of my patients, uh, not most, I would say, some patients, they are afraid of use the, the use of technology. They don't want anything attached to their body. And... Um, when they see the test, like from to from the conference, I've learned that you can always like just give them a ten day trial or a seven day trial and let them see how they are doing on the on the CGM, and this has really helped them to some of my patients to say, okay, I've tested it now, I like it, and I really want to go ahead with it. But when it comes to the gap in knowledge, I think awareness is still needed when it comes to patients, to, for them to know that these technologies are not monitoring them. Mm 